The underside of this bridge is supported by these amazing pieces of street art. Well, I suppose technically it's supported by the pylons that have the street art painted on them, but you get my point. Now, for photographic purposes, we could just bound up to any of these and snap a picture, but by thinking a bit more carefully about composition, we can do something way more interesting. Leading lines in photography is all about choosing something that runs through your image. It can be straight, it can be curved, and making the most of it in your composition to tell a more interesting story to your audience or to contextualize whatever it is that you're shooting. So here, we have these pylons running through the frame, and we also have this really nice, quite gracefully curving overpass over the top of all of it. And I think that by incorporating that into my frame, I'm gonna produce something really cool looking. Now, the trick here with this composition, if you're going to produce a sort of masterclass in leading lines and composition, you need to be a bit pedantic. And that means that as I frame up here, I'm looking to maximize the sort of compositional elements. We've got these strong vertical lines here. We've got the swooping line of the road. What I don't want is extra clutter in there that's gonna mess things up. So for example, if I'm a bit lazy and hold my camera down a bit, I'm catching this bollard here. I've got extra leading lines of the pathway running through the frame. So I'm gonna be really careful, really tight on my composition and come around just like that, cut out all of the extra bits and bobs. Now what I also want ideally is a bit less traffic and I think that's gonna be a question of just sort of waiting patiently and timing things up so that we meet the red lights at exactly the right time. Finally, I just wanna have a bit of a think about exposure because what I have at the moment is an exposure that's neither one thing nor the other. I've got a bit of blue up in the sky up there, but a bit of overexposure it looks like in the clouds. Loads of shadow in here, but you can see in this concrete structure, there's actually loads of really nice kind of detail those stripes in there look really cool so what I'm going to do is come up to the top of my phone here and turn on HDR mode HDR high dynamic range is going to let me take a picture that has loads of detail in both the highlights and the shadows at the same time hopefully it's going to saturate this amazing street art on these pylons on the supports of this bridge so I'm going to shoot a couple of different frames I'm going to expose also in different places as we go and then we'll see which one works best in the edit. This image is a good example of what happens if you leave your camera totally to its own devices and just shoot the first thing that appears to you. I mean, clutter doesn't begin to sum this up. I've got white van, I've got red bus, I've got people wandering through my frame. Is this lad looking into the camera as he goes maybe? More than anything, what I've got is a really indistinct composition and under exposure so you actually can't see the artwork there which I think is properly criminal because it's so amazing it's so it's such a beautiful and colorful thing that to lose it for some you know for a technical reason I think is inexcusable so this shot I'm afraid destined for the bin this frame a bit of an experiment on my part I wondered if including the lines of this pathway here might mirror the lines of the overpass over the top of the frame and it kind of works but also kind of doesn't this curve isn't matched obviously by the lines through the middle of the frame so it's sort of a good idea that doesn't really come together quite as well as I'd like and you're going to catch a couple of those on any day when you're photographing I've also managed to catch pretty much every bus available in the background of this frame so it all feels a bit busy a bit jumbled close but no cigars I'm afraid HDR perfection with this one I really like this more than anything I like my timing where you don't have loads of stuff going on in the frame. You've got nice kind of empty spaces, no traffic running through everything, no people wandering through the middle of the image. This is also a really nicely exposed shot. The HDR function means that I've got lots of color in the blue here, but also in the darker areas of the frame, you still get a real sense of the texture, the feel of the underside of the road. And of course, most importantly, the colors of the art there. So this, I think, is a shot that really works. Everything kind of pulls together really nicely. Mm -hmm.